Welcome back my friends. Uh, this video is just to try and help you apply the uh, crafted soft grey suede textured finish paint. Now we've used this in the past and you get better the more times you use it. Key is to make you sure you stir it properly and we use this uh, little stirry stick with the holes in that ensures all the sand or the texture does get uh, mixed up thoroughly. Now this is uh, an old wall and uh, looking at what I've done now, that's just an area there that I've filled uh, and just need a little bit more work. You can see that little black dot in the middle. But if you don't apply it correctly, you can get straight lines. So you can see where we've uh, done a little bit up here, where we've got white paint on the wall. You need to make sure you vary it. Don't do any straight lines, anything like that. You can see there we've got uh, another area where we've had a picture hook. Um, try not to do straight lines and maybe not little circles like that. And this is where I'm just coming across now. And uh, we've still got uh, a few more little defects there where the little rail that's got to go across that we've got to paint. Still got lots of work to do, but I need to get this room completed. Well, some of the painting completed, get the floor down, get the bed up, uh, ready for my wife to come home from hospital. So I'm jumping the gun. And uh, the dog is trying to help. <laughs> But this is a wall that I've completed and hopefully we've got a better effect. So it's a suede paint, so it's supposed to look like suede. It does cover a lot of uh, defects. If you don't look too hard, then it does uh, look uh, quite good. Um, there might be a little bit in that top left hand corner where I just need a little dab more where that little white bit is sticking out but it does need two coats and we're, we're not far away we're not far away on this wall and uh, realistically I'm quite happy with that a lot better than how I did it uh, last time because it does get a little bit patchy else anyway I'll just get load my brush the paint is very, very thin, but basically you need to be, none of this up and down, you need to be using that brush as he tries to look through the screen to do it. But you need to thin it out, push it about in different directions so that uh, you get that suede effect. And it comes with practice. Now, if you're not uh, good at DIY, the only way to do it is by having a go. We've been in this house now 36, 38 years, and I've had a little go at everything, apart from the electrics and plumbing, because you do need experts for that, because it can make a right mess if uh, anything goes wrong. But if you don't know, you don't try. Uh, this bottom half will be wallpapered. I put the wallpaper on. My wife pastes it. We make a good team. So if I can get this all done, get the rest of the underfloor bit before I actually put the uh, flooring down. Then I can put the bed up and then Mrs. K has got somewhere to sleep if we can get her upstairs. So like I say, key is making sure you don't get any edges. See, that hasn't dried yet. That's almost dry. And then the other wall that you saw is where it dries perfectly. And if you ain't happy about something, slap a bit more on. You might just be able to see there like a little heart shape. That's a little bit of a defect where I've put some plaster in. But when you're further away, it just disappears where if you just did an ordinary painted wall, it wouldn't. So I hope that uh, this video has just helped you with the suede paint and the application. Like I said, practice makes perfect. 
but if you do it yourself you can't blame nobody else and you can be happy with what you've achieved why not check out my DIY playlist on the end screen till next time my friends to for now